In this um, framework's midterm exam, we use abstract factories, builders, and a mediator to create a console simulation of a robot war. Each robot has a torso, a gun, and two at least two identical legs. Guns have a weight, a damage per second or DPS rating, a cooldown period, and an accuracy rating. Legs have a health rating, a power rating, which details how much weight it can move, and a weight. And the total weight of the robot is the sum of the weight of the leg, plus the weight of the weapon, plus the torso weight. The torso weight is 10% of the weapon weight, plus 15% of the leg weight. The health of the robot is 50 base points, plus the sum of the legs, times 1.5. When a robot is damaged, it takes damage to the legs first, and then to the rest of the robot. When the robot legs are all destroyed, the robot is immobilized, and the accuracy rating of any robot attacking immo an immobilized robot is 100%. So I started by creating a gun factory and added four guns. A laser gun, a machine gun, a missile launcher, and a nuclear warhead launcher. Adding a fifth gun is as easy as setting the member variables in the constructor and adding an additional an additional conditional to the gun factory with minimal impact on the recompile. Next I did the same thing with the leg factory <coughs> and added five different kinds of of legs. And next, I created a robot factory with 10 robot types and a robot builder that would actually assemble the robots with weapons and legs. Finally, I added a mediator that would read the name value that would read name value pairs and pass messages between robots. The messages tell the robots who attacked them and how much damage was received. So here's our mediator message center. And then in the main loop, <coughs> for each robot I created an attack message with a target and send the messages back and forth through the mediator. So let's see this in action. Okay, so our 10 robots went to war and the winner was Taylor Swift after 2006 rounds. Now that's it for the Frameworks midterm. Hope you enjoyed that.